in the situation with us, that it's it's not so much the FO running around doing all the work and the captain sitting back having his jets biscuits. It's 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 more important that, that they're both there together doing it. Our expectation is the, the captains will establish a set number of tasks, but the important task of gathering weather, no tams, and reviewing them, our expectation is that it's done together as a crew. We're just encouraged that the, the first officer and the captain work as a team, both checking each other's work. So it's tempting to think that personality differences is a really minor events, you know, just distracting part of life. But clearly in a multi-crew environment, history has shown, accident history has shown that it can result in some, some fairly disastrous events. So, so managing um, those personality differences is, is not only a crew responsibility that is speaking up, reporting those issues to the chief pilot or someone else in that responsible position is very important. But the organisation, of course, needs to manage that as part of its, of its training program, as part of its education investigation program to ensure that that's managed. So in this case, possibly John might, might require some bit of CRM training and Robert the same, or, and possibly given some information on, on managing upwards, reporting those issues and being assertive as part of his responsibility as a crew member as well. I've seen a bad example of cockpit resource management with a, um, a very experienced captain and a reasonably experienced female co-pilot. For some strange reason the captain had an issue with female pilots and on a regular public transport flight in a metro he actually, um, to prove a point, let the first officer fly until the aircraft was iced up to the point where she's physically forced him to take control. He then stalled the aircraft full of passengers and recovered. It was then reported. He didn't deny what he'd done and he was unfortunately had to be dismissed for that. Um, the situation was just out of control and it had got to a point very quickly in the flight. Um, we should have recognised that the potential for that earlier, um, there were some warning signs that we didn't act on. No one ever anticipated it to get to that stage. Luckily it didn't end up in tragedy. Strangely he's now married a female pilot. Um, I expect the cockpit gradients the other way at home. The Red Bull Air Race team here is a crew. We have a technical director who works on the airplane all the time to make sure that it's healthy and we also have uh, a team coordinator that does everything that the, either the pilot or the, or the technician isn't doing and th there's trust involved. I don't actually pre-flight the airplane, I do a walk around but I have a, a trust and a bond with the technician to know that I'm going to get in the airplane and it is absolutely safe to fly. So this is a teamwork environment and every piece of that team has to work in sync to make a safe flight.